Alright, Brother Jumbo, you know why you here. So just start from the beginning. Okay, I will start from the beginning. I was born in Nigeria, and my father named me Oluwa Toby Adebayo Jr. After him, at the time, my father was 60, my mother was 35, and I was a baby. I was born in a manger, but I was not Jesus. Oh no, my parents had nothing to hide. I was a happy baby, full of life and ready to take on the world. When I grew up, I got a scholarship to the Foreign University College of Kenya. For some reason, the acronym made my father laugh. We all know what you'll be doing after school, son. Ha 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 ha. But coming to a new country made me afraid of the possibilities. I was taught by a visiting lecturer named Professor Hall, and he taught me more about justice in America than he did about engineering. Brother Jambo, you know English better than I do. Why don't you come on back to America with me, and we'll get you a job. And during our 33-hour ride on a plane to America, Professor Hall and I had a very lively conversation. You see, we the only ones who didn't get no peanuts and soda. You know the reason why. What? What are you talking about? You said you didn't want anything. This is a plane from Kenya to America. Everybody on the plane is black. You cannot call this discrimination. Hey, Jumbo, man, I'm not asking you about your life story, man. I'm trying to ask you about the club burning down. But since you on the subject, how's your name changed from Alua Toby to Jumbo? I will give you the answer right after you tell me where you get your steroids from. In order to get the cheapest tuition possible, I had to prove that I was already a Kenyan resident. So I took on the name of my godfather, Hujambo Kwahiri Asante Mutasha, and became Hujambo Kwahiri Asante Mutasha II. But instead of questioning me, I'm sure that there are plenty of other people in this city who need police protection right now. Hey man, you seem hungry. I'm going to go out and get us something to eat for lunch. Would you want some gold or something like that? I will have a chopped salad, thank you very much. Don't you listen to my poems? I don't have to eat goat anymore. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even have to touch her. All I did was show her what my real hair looks like, and she fainted. This is weird. I wonder why the door is open. I don't have any groceries. Hey bae, I'm home. I got great news. They didn't fire me. They just suspended me. Going back to work. That is wonderful, baby. Come here in the back in the bathroom. Oh man, I hope she doesn't see that yellow puddle I left this morning by the toilet. I didn't have my glasses on. Oh, I am so sick right now. Why would you buy me a chopped salad from the convenience store? Man, I get my lunch from the convenience store all the time. I don't have no problems. Please call my wife. She is a director down at the nursing home. She will know what to do and you're gonna smell what I just did in a few seconds. Sister Tanisha, I have wonderful news for you. You only had two accidents this month. So, we have decided to make you employee of the month. Congratulations. Oh, that is wonderful news. My pastor told me that this was going to happen. Oh, that's right. You go to Jumbo's church. Oh, and I have one more good thing to tell you. You see, I found a new job, and I'm looking for somebody to replace me as director of nursing. And I want it to be you. Oh, <laughs> stop it, silly girl. I have to take this call. That is my ringtone. Habaragani, this is Yaruba. What's the word, big bird? You gave him a chopped salad from the convenience store? What were you thinking? I'm on the way right now. Oh yeah, we keep covering up the patient in the background because she's an extra. We don't have enough money to pay her residuals. <sighs> oh my god, babe. You slipped on that puddle that I left by the toilet, didn't you?
No, I cleaned that nasty stuff up before she noticed that I was in him. Young man, I am Jumbo's wife, Yoruba. Where is my husband? How you doing, Mrs. Mutasha? I'm Detective Jave Gagne, you know, the one who gave your husband that salad. And I think he's in the bathroom speaking y'all native language. Oh, my boo-boo, oh, my boo-boo, oh. <laughs> oh, no, that is not our language. He must really be in pain. TJ, if you tell me no one more time, I don't know what I'm going to do to you. Okay, let's find out. No. And while we wait for Jumbo, I will tell you what happened so we can go home. And would you stop flexing your muscles? I am a married woman. You see, my husband Jumbo is a co-owner of the Spoken Word Cafe with Professor Hal. So last night they had a very short meeting because Jumbo was not getting paid by Professor Hal for his catering services or his spoken word. Professor Hal, you have not paid me in three weeks. I need to get my money today. Are you going to give me my money? Brother Jumbo, the answer to your question is no. Oh, well, that's it, Professor Hal. I quit. You cook the rest of the food by yourself. But Jumbo told me that after that, Professor Hal left to have dinner with the station's president and left the food cooking on the stove. And that is what I believe started the fire. Can we go now? Yes, ma'am. You can go, but I got one more question. Ain't your name really Vanita Jenkins? I remember you from my church. Boy, you better not tell anybody I'm from Maywood, Illinois. I met Jumbo online, and he thought I was from West Africa. That's it! Get out my house, Albertisha! Yay, babe! You saved the day! I would have done something, but my father taught me that a real man never puts his hands on a woman. And a real woman knows to keep her hands off my man. Hmm, my father didn't teach me that. He had outside children. In fact, I need to look up online and find my half-brothers and sisters. It's like ten of them. Oh, Albertisha, you must be in a lot of pain since my sister-in-law put that work on you. Tanasia, why isn't this medication working? You gave it to me two hours ago. Girl, that was not pain medication. Those were breath mints. I don't give pain medication to people who try to hurt my family. Sister Taneja, you must give Abatisha pain medication right now. I mean, why? She tried to hurt our family. Because I just went online and I found out that she is my half-sister. And so are you. Wait, you all did the prayer without me?